What's up guys, Ankle Spangin here, and today we are playing as Callista AD Carry in season, well preseason of season 6. And I've decided that uh, I am trying to go down the line and go through all the AD Carries that I have not played in the preseason yet. So we can, uh, you know, show you guys who's good with what masteries, who's good with what build. I forgot to kill my support. We'll go ahead and murder her. So... With that now done and in mind, we should uh, be good in this game. As far as I know, Callista's build didn't really change with the Season 6. Um, you know, I, I tried to look it up too, just see what pros are building and stuff like that. And most of the people were building the exact same build as um, you know Callista before this. So, I used that as a basis for my knowledge. And we will be totally good. So with a Janna support, a range support, we actually do want to start with our W. Um, if you have a melee support, it's better to start with your rend. But, very minimally. But, um, if you have a range support, it's better to uh, start with your W so you can get the, uh, the combined poke. So, we'll go ahead and grab our W here. It does help with the leash as well. Um... And after this leash, it looks like we will be against a... Caitlyn Ashlane? I guess? Because they have 380 carries on their team. So I'm guessing it'll be, yep, Caitlyn and Ash. So, Caitlyn and Ashlane should definitely be interesting, to say the least. We'll see how this goes, though. Um, I know... Actually, both of these champions are very good against Callista, so that's going to be very difficult for us, I do think. Um, and if you don't understand why it's difficult for us, stop, please stop trading. Okay. <laughs> but if you don't understand why it's difficult for us, let me tell you, because Ash's auto attacks always naturally slow me, and Caitlyn super outranges me whenever I go up for anything just like that. So it's a very, very large pain in the ass. And the reason that Ash's auto attacks slowing me um, really makes it a lot harder is because that does make me jump slower. It makes me uh, utilize my passive slower. So, this will be a very, very rough game. What the heck? Is that the level 2 gank? Alright, there's the heal. Going to be saving that for the flash. And let's go ahead and kill this Caitlyn. And there's her heal. Should be good. Boom! There's the first blood going down. Easily picking it up. Great gank by Westrice. Teleporting in at level 2. Will succeed in that. And that will actually be the foothold that I needed in this lane. So thank you very much, Westrice. Will be coming in huge in their behinds. Oh, that's tilting. That, that, that is tilting. All right. Okay, there we go. We just needed to settle down there for a second. I thought I had my E for that mean. That's why I missed that one. But, uh, wow. We'll go ahead and get those. We should go back here, actually. Um, there's not really a whole lot of reason for us to stay. Plus, I can go back and get two long swords, and we should be a lot better off in this lane. So, I actually don't know what, uh, what masters I'm running. I think I, oh, I'm running my Jungle Thunderlords page. Because usually what you're supposed to have biscuits instead, um, but I actually have Runic Affinity, which is just, basically is going to put me at a very, very slight disadvantage in lane because I don't have the biscuits compared to, uh, you know, compared to them. Where I have longer buff duration, and, well, buff and neutral monster duration. It looks like going to pick up a kill on the top lane, Twisted Fate. Um, I, I guess that's, I guess that's the thing this game. I guess that is the uh, the norm. So the only the only uh, they have a very odd team, but that's okay. We'll be good, and we will be rushing straight for the Blade of the Ruin King. This game very standard on Callista. Um, so no surprise there. After that, we will be going for the Rapid Fire or not the Rapid Fire Cannon, the uh, Runan's Hurricane. Another very standard picker or <laughs> picker purchase on the Callista. Let's go ahead and cue that. My mom just texted me saying spaghetti's ready. So, I mean, I get to have some yummy, yummy spaghetti after this game. And I've actually been very curious as to how Thunderlords works on Callista. Because, obviously, I know it's still, you know, just your standard Thunderlords. So that's... <coughs> totally gonna miss. I was kind of hoping that I would actually, like, hit her. But, you know, that's asking for too much. And since we are going straight... For God, these guys need to fuck off with their poke. 
But since we are gonna go straight for the uh ugh, this is ow, ow. Alright. Ow. I get it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, just combining the poke a little bit. Taking a lot of damage though. Let's go ahead and get our health potion sticking. This lane is obnoxious, dude. I'm so glad we were able to get that early kill. Because without it, we would be so fucked in this lane. Like, so royally fucked. Oh, man. The minions killed it. Rip. Rip. Oh, my lord. Uh, uh. The CS in this game is going to make me cry. I have not played Callista in a while. And if you guys didn't know, I actually used to play a lot of Callista, so... It feels a little weird and bad to be this, um... This rusty with the CS in. So... Bit of a shame there, bit of a shame, but what you gonna do? So it looks like we do have Janna just running up. Going to take a couple auto attacks, but you know, not like a big deal. I can't really say anything either because I'm just getting my booty blasted. Ash, you need to stop. And the thing is, after we get our items, we should be pretty well off in this lane to win it. But until I get at least like a little life steal or just a little bit of fucking anything, I am just going to get my asshole handed to me so on a so whoa okay going to get comboed out very uh gracefully by the enemies there looks like there is a spear coming in we'll land that let's go ahead and drop the flash and maybe we can go for this kaboom there's one kill twisted fate going to lock in the yellow card and actually miss let's see all right i got one auto attack off now they should kill him and that'll get me three assists and i'll definitely definitely take that so there's three assists for us here's lucian coming in for the mid lane Lucian roam, but I don't think this is a good idea on his part to try and do anything. So it looks like Kelvin going to be eating the entire tickling, going back in the bush to get the jump out, and he did step on a trap, so he will be going down, and Lucian actually proving me totally wrong. Holy outplayed! <laughs> so get fucked, everyone on my team. We'll be getting shit on all over by that Lucian. Wow. Get wrecked. Get absolutely wrecked. That was awesome. So let's get back into this lane. We do have our um, Bilgewater Cutlass now that will help us with the sustain in this lane where um, Caitlyn did get a BF Sword. So she will be doing a flat, you know, more damage than we will. Not by a lot, actually, but, you know, still flat more damage. Um, so we do need to keep that in mind. But we'll be okay, I think. We will be okay, I think. So as long as Ash over here doesn't get level 6 too quickly, we should be good to keep on chilling. Uh, looks like he's going to be coming somewhere. Either way, with Nocturne ulting, I'm going to back right the fuck on off. Because I do not want any of that. So, I'm just going to chill into the tower here for just a second. Um, God, that poke is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so obnoxious, but it's A-OK, -okay. so let's go ahead and, well, the minion moved. How dare you move when I'm trying to murder you, minion? How dare you? Alright, maybe we can get a little damage off here. That's going to be some good damage. And, alright, no, don't, okay. Well, I was I was okay to live, but, uh, whoa! <laughs> there's the Flash Rengar coming in. That's going to be some good damage there. And there's one kill. Let's go ahead and hurl her in here, and I'm dead. Okay. Yeah! Still got the kill because of the passive. We'll be getting that kill. So we'll take it. We do have boots now as well as two daggers. And we were almost, almost good there. But um, at least with the ganks, we're getting a lot of attention and love. Our CS is garbage this game. But um, you know, I would love to <laughs> I would love to see him and be like, oh yeah, that's Caitlyn and Ash is just zoning me off of them so beautifully well. No, it's really, really a lot more of me just being absolutely shit. So it looks like Westrice will be going for this Twisted Fate here. The Oh, he's trying so hard to juke it. Will not be able to, though. We'll just get queued in the face and go down. So twop, <laughs> twop. Top lane Twisted Fate is not staying up very well to that Lee Sin. Not much surprise there, either. So we are gaining our levels. We do have our ultimate now. So maybe... We might be able to just force fights on them, because Callista does have a lot more all-in potential than Caitlyn. So after I have my ultimate back up, 
Maybe if I just hurl Janna into them, that might actually go well for us. But I'm not 100% certain on that. Because Ash, with her ultimate, can still provide a lot of lockdown that is going to be immensely difficult to uh, deal with. And Caitlyn can actually drop traps under our feet when they're going in like that with the uh, with the Ash ultimate, and it'll make it ever so more ever so much more difficult to do much more. So let's see. We will get the shield. Let's go ahead and jump on her. That's going to be whoa. Okay, Nocturne ulting. It looks like they did ping mid when he did that, so he's probably. Uh oh. So oh, there's the Jan ult. We'll definitely just chill in this and heal up a little bit. So we should be good. Ow, ow, Jesus, stop it. So actually, if I can get this... Actually, let's go ahead and do this. So let's just hurl her into that right there. That's going to be one kill going down. And go ahead and keep auto-attacking her. Let's go ahead and drop the heal right here. Keep on... No! Not going to be able to get it. But still two kills going down in exchange for my life. We'll take it. But, um... I guess <laughs> I guess she didn't shield me whenever we were going in there. So is okay. I'll go ahead and just say it's okay because we still killed both of them in exchange for me dying. I'll say it's worth it. But obviously it would have been a little better if I didn't die. Um, but you know, no big deal. No big deal. We're still 2, 3, and 6. Lots and lots of kill participation in this game due to all the uh, attention bot lane. And the fact that, like I said, now without their ultimates... Um, we can just go flying in on one of them. Why, why are you not moving, Callista? Why, <laughs> you silly goose, why aren't you moving? But now that they're, um, you know, now we're getting to the point where we can actually all in them. This lane shouldn't be as bad. Obviously, if I still let myself get very hardcore poked out, it will not be good at all. But that will hopefully not be a huge issue. Um, you know, at least when team fights start happening. So... Janna making the right move here with all of them mid. I'm not really in need of a support down bottom at the moment. Um, so, you know, making her movement up towards that mid lane will be the right choice for her here. So let's see. We'll go ahead and just do this. And, man, fuck Caitlyn. <laughs> fuck. Stop. Stop. The only issue is that I can't really go in on her, um, in all honesty. I would love to, but I can't. I, if I want to, I need to have full health when I do it, so definitely should probably just go back and get my Blade Rune King here, but for now, look at how obnoxious this is, dude. Just look at this. Look at that. We'll go ahead and get that auto attack right there. Ooh, kill that one. We'll go ahead and, ooh, get wrecked. Boop. There we go. Look at that damage. Come here and look at the moves. Look at them. That's going to be a lot of damage going off right there. Kaboom. There's the kill. Picking it up. Easy pickups on that, Caitlyn. And she even did use her heal as well, but still going to go down like a bitch. And, man, that feels good after uh, getting so much poke in my face. Just murdering her in cold blood. So Nocturne gonna ult here. I don't know where he's ulting. I don't want anything to do with it. He is ulting top lane. Lee Sin will land the Q and... I don't know what the hell that was. I... I think he tried too hard. I think... I think he tried to mechanics a little too hard. Yeah, that's probably what happened there. I think he tried to mechanics just slightly too hard. Because he actually flashed mid Q did no damage and um, just kind of let Kelvin die so West Rice may be a little bit of a troll sometimes but that's adorable so we do have a Blade of the Rune King now that'll help us a lot uh, we do have a lot more attack speed we do have a lot of uh, the percentage health damage now and a lot more life seal on top of all of that so lots of good shenanigans you could say are here now We'll go ahead and auto this one. And something I'm not doing a whole lot of right now is trying to take advantage of the amount of poke that Callista can put down if you get minions low with auto attacks and then run up auto attack them and actually just rend. So I'm going to go ahead and see here if I can maybe... Oh, there it is. Let's go ahead and pull her in here. That's going to be the double knockup. There's one kill. And let's go ahead and just... Oh, get hit by the Piltover Peacemaker. But... Will definitely, definitely get at least both of them again for my life. And if we keep having trades like this, to be honest, I'm okay with it. 
Um, because it's me going down for both of them. And even though it makes me look kind of bad, I'm still okay with it. Because it's overall beneficial for the team. Plus, I do get more out of it from, um, you know, <laughs> the assists. So, overall, the gold swing goes directly in our favor. It looks like m this mid lane uh, Lucian was getting huge. 7-1 and one right now. That's ridiculous. So it looks like that ward will be going down. They will be trying to take this red. The spear will hit him right in the face. Ash coming by herself. So I doubt that. I really doubt this is going to escalate to anything further. Because if it does, they're going to get kind of dangerous. Looks like Twisted Fate going in here. There's the ace in the hole. The shield plus the heal, though, will keep her alive. So I got I to gotta admit, I really, really thought that Janna was 100% dead. But. You know, she just ripped out her butt plug and said, You can't get in here. This is my ass. So, showing how tight she can clench as they try and penetrate to no avail. Go ahead and out of these all twice and get that. Next up is the uh, Rune Ants Hurricane. Very standard purchase, like I was saying earlier on Callista, because it just allows you to get more Ren stacks off on everything. So, it's actually very, very useful. Uh, let's see, this tower is still here. I've done next to nothing to it, and I should be very mindful of getting ganked here um, with Nocturne down here, so I'm actually just going to walk away, because Nocturne's terrifying. Um, I don't know if... Uh, okay, so Ash is mid right now, meaning if she steps forward, I can just kind of run at her, so I think we'll do that. I think... Man, I want to, but yeah, now I don't know where they are. In the bush, I mean. So this is good. This is good. I'm going to go ahead and just step out here and stop uh, worrying about that. We knew it wasn't warded because the minions didn't come directly into the bush to start killing me. But, oh man, I forgot. Now that I'm not like super pushed, I can actually throw my sentinels out. So that'll help a lot too with uh, the whole vision thing. I stopped like thinking about my sentinels in general because we were so pushed up all the time. So the only realistic place for me to put sentinels was behind us. And that's just not fun. So let's go ahead and jump on this. This sh could be... No! Yeah, there we go. Using the auto attack right there on the Ash to get close enough to kill the Caitlyn. And we will be getting that kill. So good job, us. And actually, Ash did... Or not Ash, but Caitlyn did use her heal as well. So very good for us there. We'll be getting quite a lot out of that. And we do have a lot more attack speed now going into this. Let's see, 5-5-7 five, five, and seven with 102 CS. We have totally caught up to Caitlyn's CS lead. That is really good for us. And we do have more kills than she does. And four more assists. So we're very far ahead of this Caitlyn in monies. It looks like Ash is not going for support Ash at all. She's just kind of playing Ash in the bot lane. So yeah, that's kind of one way to do it. No visions, no, no nothing at all. That's one thing that we can actually, you know take positive out of this lane they do have a bit more damage than us like you know flat out but they will have no vision at all times making them very easy ganks um well not at all times because they have trinkets but you know what i mean y'all know what i mean so it looks like literally everyone in our game we're all over level nine and we've all forgotten to switch our trinkets i like it so that just goes to show how much people think about it still but Still fine, still totally fine. Go ahead and get as many of these as we can. Auto, whoop! Oh, uh, yes, yeah, still got it. So, only 260 gold until we have our Rune Ants Hurricane. And I think, I think I don't need to be too careful for the Nocturne that's potentially down here. The only reason I would need to be careful is because of an Ash Ultimate or something like that coming in. But if it's just Nocturne, I can definitely 1v1 him. Because I can kite Nocturne really easily. I do have my Flash. I do have my Blade of the Rune King. I have a lot of means of doing this. So we're going to go ahead and just do that. Let's go ahead and see if we can kill, or kill this guy. It's definitely going to be an easy kill. Boop! Picking that up. So after he didn't have that tether to fear me with, we were able to just flash forward and kill his ass. Easy pickup right there. And we will be able to get this tower as well. So... Easy, easy kill. And we can afford our Rune Ants Hurricane now as well. With 700 gold to spare, so we will be able to get that as well as... Probably... Next time is going to be a QSS for sure. 
because QSS is just too good on Callista. You absolutely need to keep jumping. So the Q will land. Look at that damage. Not going to be picking up the kill. Let's go ahead and just tank that for him because I'm a nice guy and maybe not going to be getting that kill though. So sad days. Whoa, not going to get hit by the arrow there. Let's go ahead and not step on that either. So it looks like Nocturne coming in and we should be good. Should definitely be good. So, we did it. Ugh, ouch. All right, you know what? I don't want this anymore. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out No, stop. 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 Get, get in my belly. All right, let's kill his ass. Yeah, brother, that's going to be one kill. West is going down. And it looks like we do have Lucian on the case. The Flash. And let's go ahead and he's very dead. Okay, bye-bye, Lucian. So, 3,100 gold to go back with now, and we will definitely not go down there either, so, great job! Great job! So, grab this Runans, grab the QSS, so, now, after this, let's see, are they building any armor at all? Not one singular heckin' bit of armor, so we'll go ahead and upgrade that as well, and I think next we'll just go for Infinity Edge. Because, the other option is obviously, um... Well, not obviously, but the other option is Bloodthirster. Um, very solid pickup on Callista because it helps you have that sustain to just stay in lane or stay in fights longer. And it is a very good choice, don't get me wrong, and I might do it. But I kind of do just want to try getting the Infinity Edge because Runans gives crit now. So actually with the Infinity Edge, I'll be up to 50% crit chance um, with just a, like a decent amount less sustain. So we'll see how that goes, though. Because I'm just curious enough to try it. That's really all that comes down to. We'll go ahead and look at this wave clear now too with uh, with Runans because we can just murder the whole wave. It is just all gone as we just get these auto attacks in here. And then we just throw one rend in there and it's all dead and we can do it all over again. So get two autos in there and it actually crits, so I didn't really need to uh, do anything. And I'm gonna trinket this because that does get the ward right there that allows me to. Um, that allows me to, well, know that someone like Nocturne is coming for me. <laughs> so we'll actually just walk on out of here. And if Nocturne's in this bush, I will fight him and I will murder him. So no worries there. I do have my heal. I do have my Bork. I have my QSS. So even if he does get the fear off on me, just QSS it immediately and get right back to murdering him. So go ahead and kill the Scuttle Crab. Maybe I can have this red too. Hopefully, hopefully, Kelvin, please. Yay, Kelvin, I love you. So Kevin will let me have this red, and that'll be really useful for us, uh, for our kiting. So pick this up easily, and cute or EVs right there, just so it kills both of those little ones, and then does more damage to the big red. So, you know, easy pick up on the red there. We can actually get a BF sword now, so that'll help even more, uh, as far as our damage goes. So definitely things to, uh, things to consider as we go further in this game. Kelvin will be picking up a kill on Twisted Fate, not really giving a heck right there. Looks li I actually like that, uh, not, or not Nocturne, but Lucian's name. It's just Guy. That's cool. That's cool. That's a cool name. Just Guy. But I think we'll go back here soon. Um, see what we can do. So I kind of, I like, I really wanted to fight there. I'm feeling very bloodthirsty. You know, the standard phrase, I got ants in my pants and I need to dance. So let's see. It looks like, uh, Okay. So with the paranoia coming in, there is actually nothing to be scared of as nothing's happening. So go ahead and just take this tower. And if they're not going to fight, I guess we'll just, okay. Or he's just going to lose his damn mind and... You okay there, guy? Poor guy. Poor guy. See, I can say that literally because, you know, his name is Guy. So, poor guy. Poor guy, indeed. We'll go ahead and clear this wave, though. And as long as I just don't hit them, should be totally safe to do this. And I could actually, you know, I could throw Janna in here if they come just slightly too close. But if they don't come too close, definitely just going to take the inhibitor and walk down bottom, get that minionions too. And see if we can start pushing towards their base. So, let's see here. And if anyone comes down here, dude, I'm going to make him my grand bitch. Because, you know, my bitch needs a bitch. So let's make him my grand bitch. 2,400 gold. We can actually afford a lot 
of uh, items here. We're very, very wealthy this game. I've been farming actually very well after lane phase, and with all the kills that we were able to secure everywhere, go ahead, do it, Nocturne. Do it. See, I know there's a Nocturne ultimate coming out, and I know that I'm sitting there in clear-cut vision of Nocturne, and I ain't even scared. I ain't giving one singular heck. So let's go ahead and boop, get some damage off there. And by some damage, I mean one auto attack. Well, he landed though, so it does not look like it. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, keep on walking up. Because if I do get Twisted Fate yellow carded or gold carded, uh, that could prove to be not so good. So we did get the Blade of the Rune King off. And let's see, will he do it? Will he do it? No balls. No balls. Not one singular testicle. So, I hope they do let me life steal this up a little bit. Looks like Dragon will be killing our Nidalee. And I am getting murdered. So, whoa. Okay, he's totally fine to tank that. And let's see. All right, Twisted Fate not going to go anywhere with that yellow card. So, let's see. Oh, the Zeke's is about to activate. And... Go. All right, 100% crit for like two seconds. Well, not 100%. It would actually bump me up to 80%. With, uh, with my current items. So let me just hopefully get some life back here by auto-attacking these guys a bunch of times. There we go. Got some of that HP back. And let's see. Whoa! I'm going to go ahead and get Janna out of here. And let's go ahead and step on out of that. So we did a preemptive ultimate there due to the fact that if she were to re-engage, she would have been healthy enough to do so. But if she also just wanted to get out, she was out of there. So very quick on the ult trigger. We'll be pulling that with no... Hashtag no regrets. So let's go ahead and get out of here and see. We can't afford any of the BF items, like full BF items. Uh, we could get a full Mercurial Scimitar. Actually, I think I'm just going to do that because that's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of damage there. So might as well just do that. And then we'll go for... Go ahead and work on the Infinity Edge next. So we'll just grab this Cloak of Agility so we can use all of our available Monets will definitely help us out getting us up to 50% crit there it looks like this could be totally fine there's the Q going back in smashing the ground and let's see never mind he went a little too ham there and let's see maybe uh oh Lucian going for the kill not gonna be able to find it though you know he went for the neck but his fangs just sunk into the shoulder meaning you know Janna was maimed but will not go down so with a Mercurial Scimitar now, we do have a lot of uh, lifesteal. Well, not a lot. We actually have the exact same amount of lifesteal as before if we had a Vampiric Scepter. But we didn't have a Vampiric Scepter. So we have a lot more lifesteal now, is basically what I'm saying. I sound like a goofball, but I'm not going to try and fight this because Ash probably still has our ultimate. So if I get Ash ulted, even though I do have my Mercurial Scimitar, that means I have to choose a lesser of two evils or just do it really well and hope they CC stack really poorly. So, a little too risky for me to try and do anything with that there. We'll go ahead and throw that in there. And while I do this, Durgan. So, it should be pretty easy pick up on the dragon. Go ahead and hop around. Hop, skip, jump. Enjoy a little game of hopscotch while we're just killing dragon. Killing Brandon. Killing Durgan. And that spear looked neat. It missed, but it looked cool. So, I actually... Is that just what Warring Kingdom Spears look like? Because that was cool. Oh, Rengar ulting. He's got a thirst for blood. Let's see what he goes for. Kelvin got the white bitch in his eyes. And he's blind, apparently, because he can't even kill that. So, you know, he, he Kelvin pounced on the white booty. And he didn't get the white booty. So, rest in peace, Kelvin. Nocturne using the paranoia, but uh, not going anywhere with it. Not going anywhere with it at all. So... I guess they all just wanted to ult, and they're like, you know what? Going in here would be a bad idea. So, man, get the heck off me, Tower. I want to kill you, but get off me. So it looks like... Uh-oh. Wait. Wait. Um, boop. Eh. All right. I'm not going to go for it. I'm just going to take this out, because I know Ash can't 1v1 me. I know she can't. I, I'm pretty sure they can't 1v2 me. Let's go ahead and just do this. Boop. Yep. Yep. Yeah, they had no chance. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no chance of 1v2ing me. So just murdering both of them. Easy pickups right there. And I'll just be able to get this in inhibitor. And that will be mid and bot lane inhibitors going down. Allowing us to push even ever harder into this. And all right. Kelvin just throwing Ebola at Caitlyn. And she will go down. There's the ace. Okay. Wait, that was a very not exciting win. 
Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and just use our flash here and, you know, walk into the base uh, to BM a little bit. Because even though I'm not a BM feller, I like to be in their base when I'm winning. So a very anticlimactic win. But overall, after the lane phase, I think we played that very well. Um, as well as my team aiding me quite a lot to get to where we were. Wow, one more win and I'll be a level 5 Callista. But, with that game said and done, we did have a spectacular showing under our belts. We didn't do as much damage as we could have. Kelvin actually went off that game. So very well done by Kelvin getting the most damage in the game. That's very impressive. Um, but anyways... Got the S minus. If you guys did enjoy this video, do make sure you leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All things will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. It'll be a wonderful day. Peace!